Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel name. Today we're diving into the exciting world of travel and aviation drills. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or planning your first trip, knowing what to do in various situations can make all the difference. This isn't about being scared, it's about being prepared. Just like you wouldn't jump out of a plane without a parachute, you shouldn't embark on a journey without knowing the essentials. We're talking about those little things, those small preparations that can have a huge impact when it comes to smooth, safe, and enjoyable travels. So, let's buckle up, get our heads in the game, and dive into these essential travel and aviation drills. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later. Let's go. Before you even think about packing your bags, research is key. And I don't just mean scrolling through Instagram for the most photogenic spots, we're talking about really understanding your destination. What are the local customs? What's the weather like? Are there any travel restrictions or advisories you need to be aware of? Knowledge is power, people. It's about respecting the place you're visiting and ensuring you're prepared for whatever comes your way. The more you know, the smoother your journey will be. Trust me on that. Listen up, because this is crucial. Packing smart can make or break your trip. And the key to packing smart is a good old-fashioned checklist. No, seriously, don't roll your eyes. A checklist is your best friend. Write down everything you think you'll need, from your passport and chargers to that extra pair of socks. Check things off as you pack. This way, you avoid those heart-stopping moments at the airport when you realize you've left your phone charger at home. Been there, done that. Not a good look. I know, I know, insurance isn't the most exciting topic, but trust me on this one, travel insurance is a lifesaver. It's a safety net for the unexpected. Delays, cancellations, lost luggage, medical emergencies, these things happen, and when they do, you'll be thanking your lucky stars you're covered. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Don't skimp on this one. Get yourself some travel insurance. All right, you've boarded the plane, you're ready to jet set. First things first, locate those emergency exits. It might seem obvious, but in the unlikely event of an emergency, you don't want to be fumbling around, wasting precious seconds. Count the rows between your seat and the nearest exit. Knowing this information could be a game changer in a critical situation. Remember, safety first, always. I get it, the life vest demonstration might seem a little tedious, but it's crucial. Don't just zone out. Pay attention to how to put on the vest, how to inflate it, and how to use any of the attached features. It's easy to think it will never happen to me. But in the rare event that it does, you'll be grateful you paid attention. Your life could depend on it. Nobody wants to think about emergency landings, but it's essential to know the brace position, just in case. Familiarize yourself with the instructions on the safety card. How do you position your body? Where do you put your head? Knowing this information and reacting quickly can significantly reduce the risk of injury during an emergency. It's all about being prepared. Chapter 7. Turbulence. The word alone is enough to make some people nervous, but remember, turbulence is a normal part of flying. The key is to stay calm and listen to the crew's instructions. Keep your seatbelt fastened, even when the seatbelt sign is off. And if you do encounter turbulence, just breathe, it's usually over before you know it. Chapter 8. Staying hydrated, especially on long flights, is crucial. Dehydration can make jet lag worse and leave you feeling drained. Make sure to drink plenty of water throughout your flight. Avoid alcohol and caffeine as they can dehydrate you further. Bring an empty water bottle and ask the flight attendants to fill it up for you. Your body will thank you. Know you've been a good Chapter 9. Know your neighbors, just in case. This might seem a little out there, but it's always a good idea to be aware of who's sitting next to you. Not in a creepy way, just in a general sense. In the unlikely event of an emergency, you might need to rely on each other. A simple hello and a quick chat can go a long way in establishing a sense of camaraderie. You're all in this together, right? Chapter 10. Customs and Immigration. Be prepared. You've landed at your destination. Congrats. But the journey's not over yet. Customs and immigration can be a breeze if you're prepared. Have your passport and any necessary visa documents readily accessible. Be polite and answer any questions from officials clearly and concisely. The smoother you make this process, the faster you'll be out exploring. Chapter 11. 
Baggage claim. Lost luggage hacks. Baggage claim. The moment of truth. Did your luggage make it? Hopefully it did, but in case it didn't, be prepared. Know the procedures for reporting lost luggage. Take photos of your bags before you check them in, just in case. Having all your essential items in your carry-on can be a lifesaver if your checked bag gets delayed. It's all about minimizing the stress. Outro safe travels. So there you have it, guys. Those are my essential travel and aviation drills. Look, I know this stuff might seem like common sense to some of you, but trust me, it's always better to be overprepared than underprepared. The more you know, the smoother your travels will be. And remember, the key is to stay calm, be aware of your surroundings, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Now get out there, explore the world, and make some memories. Just don't forget to pack your checklist. Peace out.